Cool. Uh, well, Popper, 3-1 win. You're top of the league again after over a month of football. Um, the headlines write themselves, but what did you think of your side's performance? Oh, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a good win against a team that, um, you know, won four games, consecutive games, 1-0. It's a very confident team. Um, I thought first half was very good. I thought we played some great stuff first half, and second half maybe shows how far we got to go. So first half was very good. Second half um, could have been a lot better, but, you know, I, I think it's, uh, it's expected in many... Uh, respects in terms of where the team's at. It's a new team. Um, you know, we're constantly having to chop and change players. And But I thought the first half there was some uh, great football played. And then second half, we had to dig deep against a team that kept coming. And that's an area we've got to get better at. But um, you know, I thought we scored a really good goal on the break, the third goal. So second half, do you think, just think that your side just wore away under the constant pressure and you just need to reinforce that a bit? What do you think went wrong in the second half? No, I didn't say anything went wrong. You just said that. I didn't say anything went wrong. All right. What, okay. Yeah, what okay. Did, why do you think your side didn't play as well as they did in the first well, half, in the second to, half? I think we have to give respect to the opponents as well. It's not one team, 11 against zero on the field. You know, we're playing a team that was ahead of us on the table. Um, second half, they kept coming. You know, if we had, we had a couple of chances, Nishan had a nice chance to make it 3-0 early in the second half. I think if that goes in, you know, the, the game's very different. But um, they kept coming. They kept coming with their energy. They kept coming, you know, they got speed. They got mobility. Um, they looked very confident. And yeah, there's areas that we can do better, but you've also got to respect uh, the opponent who did well. Especially in that first half, it looked like Jake Brimmer had a lot of room to operate in in that midfield. Did that surprise you, just how much space he seemed to get? I think, look, they, they tried to stop us playing uh, in the first half and, you know, we did well to find um, Jakey with the ball. Um, you know, we, we tried to play out and at times, OK, it wasn't... We gave the ball away, but uh, when we broke the line, it was it was great to watch and then we created opportunities from that. So, um, like I said, there was some really good moments in the first half and... Yeah, we scored three goals at home, which is a positive. And second half for me just shows, um, you know, how much more we can improve and how much work we've got to do. Just to bounce off what Joey said about Jake, he had that sort of inventive assist last week, and then he had a hand in two goals in the first half today. Is, is he just building in confidence, or I guess what's the situation there? Yeah, yeah I, I think he had a very good preseason, uh, fantastic preseason, Jakey, and you know, as a young player that. You can see he's growing with every match, and I think his his uh, good moments are getting longer. You know, he's he's extending the periods of his good play, um, and he's very influential for us in the front third. So uh, we're delighted with his progress, and um, long may that continue. Speaking of the you know the different complexions in the first and second half, especially in comparison to the first game that you played together you know, in Geelong, it was a very even contest for the majority of the match. Um, does this team? subconsciously choose to absorb pressure when, 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 they, when they go up? I don't know. I don't know if they... D we, we, don't, uh, uh, we don't plan that. Obviously, you know, you know that when you're in front, a team's going to push hard and, and they're going to take some chances. Um, you know, we, we still tried to play out, but uh, you know, we, we had some difficulties doing that against them and that's something that we'll just keep working on. Um, Having said all that, what were your thoughts on uh, Josh Berlanti's performance over the course of over the course of the game? He scored a great goal. He scored a very good goal. Apart from the goal. Well, he scored a very good goal and he worked very hard in midfield. He did a good job. Okay. We saw Chris Economides come off at halftime. Nisham um, tactical or an injury? It sounded like he may have had a bit of hammy tightness or something. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit of tightness again. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're we're having that with every game, uh, unfortunately, but. You know, the kid came on and, um, you know, he's a young boy that's still got a lot to do. But, uh, you know, these experiences can only help him uh, to keep getting better. He had a chance to score and uh, some areas of his game that obviously has to improve. And, and certainly physically, you know, he has to improve a lot physically and that doesn't happen overnight. But, uh, you know, each appearance can help him in that, uh, in that regard. We saw Robbie Cruz come off the bench as well again today. Is he coming closer to maybe pushing to start regularly for your side? Or does he need a bit more or what's the case I with think him? I think every player that was on the bench is available for selection. Fair 
Um, also, just have you obviously your game against Gold Coast midweek was cancelled. Um, we know the F authorities are trying to organise, reorganise mm -hmm. games as quickly as possible. Do you have any word about when your rescheduled fixture against the Knights will be? Not as yet. Um, from what I hear, there's a possibility it could be this week sometime, but um, you know, I think we'll, we'll learn a lot more uh, about the chances of that tomorrow um, when we come in for recovery. And you know, if we have to play the game, then we'll, we'll prepare to do whatever we can to uh, make it possible. Uh, with those who came off the bench in context, um, how much do you think uh, Brimmer and Maggiota can facilitate what you do defensively? Uh, how much they do? Yeah, well, look, you know, the first three games uh, Nick D'Agostino played, and these games uh, Maggiotta's played, so that they haven't played all the games together. Um, yeah, it's, look, we, we, we defend from the, from the front, as you have to, and, uh, and when we play, we try and build up from the back, so uh, everyone's involved in, in, both, in both parts. Okay. Sweet. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas, everyone.